Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. Thought I'd do a tri-tip for you today on my Weber kettle. I'm using a slow and sear, and I've also got a new product that I'm trying. Curious to find out how these work. The good folks over at Mojo Bricks, mojobricks.com, sent me some samples of their product. This is, uh, they have three different sizes. They have the minis, they have these, which are the barbecue cubes that I'm using today, and they also have Mojo, Mojo cubes, which are the large ones. So depending on how much meat you're cooking, they got three different sizes to accommodate you. Let me show you with it. And if these come in a nice sealable bag, okay? It's, it's real nice. But it says on the front, uh, this is their competition blend that I'm using today. And it says, uh, barbecuing made simple. There's no soaking, there's no mess, there's no binders, and there's no hassle. And this is compressed natural hardwood, folks. And they have, they have different blends as well or they have different uh, like apple but you can also get blends like they have one called maple I think it's maple and apple blend but anyway that's what they look like compressed chunks of wood again no binders so you don't need as many of these as you would if you're using wood chunks okay regular wood chunks should be pretty good now I went ahead and got my uh, my Weber kettle fired up let me show that to you let me show you what I've got done to it and you can see it's smoking away over here I got water. I've got uh, some Kingsford briquettes here, and I got my uh, my, my charcoal going. I just lit them with one of those uh, little fire starter things, and I let it on that side. So I put my my cube over here on that side as well. Here's my tri tip. I did shave off some of the uh, skin. It had a pretty thick layer of uh, fat on top of there, and instead of using uh, what I mentioned earlier, I was going to. I found this. This Cosmo Q. This is their cow cover. It says it's good for tri tip right there. So we're going to use this, folks. And like I like to do, put a little bit of Worcestershire on here. It'll help the rub bind to the uh, meat. Go on with my cow cover. Yeah, that's what it is, cow cover. There's some good looking rub here, folks. I've never used this, so we're gonna check it out. Gotta thank uh, Cosmos Q for sending me some of this. We'll check it out. There we are. All right, let that sit on there for, uh, I don't know, five minutes or so while this thing's still coming up to temp. We'll be right back, folks. All right, and on my Weber kettle, I've got the top vent about half open and the bottom vent about maybe a quarter of the way open. And we're holding about uh, 275 on that. Let's see if we can go ahead and put this, put this tri-tip on there. Just gonna sit it on there like that. That's done business. I'm gonna shut the lid on it. We're gonna just let that baby cook. And always put your vent over your meat. So we'll check back on it here in a little bit and see how we're doing. All right, folks, it's been two hours. As you can see, the internal temp is 156, and my uh, kettle is holding about 275. So that slow and sear is working fantastic. And uh, I put the probe in there about the first hour into it, so about an hour ago. It's just plain water here. I'm just using some regular old water. Try to help that bark form a little bit. Dab will do you. Man, she's looking good. I still got smoke from that uh, barbecue. So, we're doing good. And uh, I decided to turn the vent this way since the vent and my temperature gauge on this thing are opposite. When I have it like this, my temperature gauge is right, right over the heat, man. That's, I don't like that. So, I may have to drill a hole and put me in temperature gauge over here. But, anyway. She's doing good, folks. She's doing good. I'll bring y'all back here as we get closer to uh, 200 degrees internal. All right, guys. As you can see, it's gotten dark on me, but tell you what, I think this thing is uh, done. This tri tip. I've been spritzing it like every hour or so since I showed you last. Let's check it out. Let's see where we're at here with it. It's about 200 degrees internal. And as you know, I like to do a little probe test. I'm not really checking for temp. That's sliding through pretty doggone nice, folks. Still a little tough on this side. But I'll tell you what, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this off, pull this thing off, we're gonna tent it in full. I'm gonna let it rest for, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so. We'll bring you back here in a little bit. We'll give her a taste. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. That's that tri-tip. 
looks gorgeous. It smells fantastic. I think the Mojo Bricks works really, really well. Oh yeah, there we go. Hopefully y'all can see that. Nice little smoke ring happening over there. I'm trying to figure out which way the grain's running here. I can't really remember. It's hard to see with the bark on it. Let's just cut some of this up. Let's see what it looks like. It's still hot. It's rested for like 10, 15 minutes, but it's still pretty hot. Oh yeah, that's from that side. There we go. Let's go this way. That's for me right there. Looks like a burn in. Oh yeah. Donkey, that's hot. All right. Whew. Holy cow. There we go, folks. That's what we're looking like. Let's go ahead and give this a try. See what it tastes like. All right, guys, let's give this a shot. Again, here we go. Check out that bark. Bark looks great. Thanks to this Cosmos Q Rub. Get you some of this. It's good stuff. And the slow and sear. If you got a Weber kettle, get you a slow and sear, man. Links down below. Hope y'all check them out. Hit show more down below the video. There we go, folks. It's like brisket. Seriously. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Great flavor. Your mojo bricks work. Link for them be down below. Hmm. Got to finish this video so I can go eat. Hope y'all enjoyed this. If y'all did, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to T-Roy Cooks. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, but if you did like this, hope you share the video. When you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy Cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.